As can be seen in this clip, this hamster has a huge swelling on the left side of its face, coupled with an eyeball that has popped out of its socket. Just how did this happen, and what are the possible treatment methods for such a case? Stay tuned to find out. This is a Be Kind of Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by TobioVets, where veterinary education and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. This one and a half year old dwarf hamster came into the clinic on the 14th of December 2019, Saturday, with the complaint of it having a prolapsed eyeball accompanied by tearing. The hamster was also observed to have been constantly pawing at its eye, which suggests that the dislodged eyeball is generating great irritation for the poor pet. The observed condition is also known as proptosis, which refers to the occurrence when the eyeball gets displaced from the eye socket. This can occur due to a multitude of reasons. More common reasons include infection and trauma. There have been cases of proptosis induced by a physical obstruction, such as a nasal abscess. Unfortunately, the exact cause of the displaced eyeball in this particular case remains largely unknown. Now that we have a brief understanding of the hamster's condition, the next question naturally follows. Just how is this condition treated? An important factor in determining the type of treatment method employed involves first identifying the duration of which the eye has been out of the socket. When in the socket, the eye is lubricated and kept healthy by tear production. Left outside of the socket, a great strain will be placed on the nerves and blood vessels connected to the eye. Additionally, the eye would also no longer be lubricated by tears. Left outside of the eye for too long, and vision would be permanently lost. In situations where the eye can still be propped back into the socket, a procedure known as tarsography will be conducted. Such a procedure usually involves the partial sewing of the upper and lower eyelids to prevent the eyeball from getting displaced out of the socket again. While this was a method initially considered by Dr. Daniel, the constant swelling in the region despite administration of anti-inflammatory drugs rendered such a procedure impossible. As a result, Dr. Daniel eventually decided to conduct an enucleation procedure instead. An enucleation refers to the surgical removal of the eyeball. The hamster was first placed under general anesthesia before the eyeball subsequently removed. The eyelids were then sewn shut. This clip here was taken on the 15th of December 2019, day 2, just 5 minutes after the surgery. Notice how the eyelids of the hamster have been stitched together as part of the enucleation surgery. Bleeding has also stopped and the fact that he is able to wake up quickly from the anesthesia presents great hope for his recovery. There is typically a larger anesthetic risk associated with smaller pets like hamsters as compared to other larger pets like dogs or cats. His condition was continuously monitored and as he is recovering quickly, he would be sent home as arranged by the owner on the 18th of December 2019, day 5. Proptosis is fairly common in hamsters, and as mentioned earlier, could arise due to a varied range of factors. It is therefore important for pet owners to realise that a prolapsed eyeball is a veterinary emergency, and prognosis rapidly diminishes as the duration which the eyeball has been out of the socket increases. Thus, the team at Topio Vets would like to urge pet owners to take your pets to your local veterinarian as soon as you notice such symptoms. Do visit topiovets.com if you need more information and once again, thanks for watching.